180! Hi lads and lasses, welcome to Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave. Today's episode is the last in the series of Back to Basics. And what I thought I'd do for the last in the series was something that quite a lot of people ask me for over quite a lot of occasions and it's like practice regimes where fun things to do when you're practicing rather than just um, either hammering the double 16, hammering the double 20 that sort of stuff because that's what people do when they're practicing the thing of the um, scoring practicing the doubling so let's sort of like combine that right so I've got a couple of games for you here a couple of games that I use myself um, I've not put them on the channel before because they're just personal to me, they're my, they're my games, they're what I like to play and it's quite interesting and quite entertaining, for me it is anyway, you might not like it but obviously, as I say with everything that I do lads and lasses, it's all subjective right so this is number one of Dave's um, thingy, practice regimes and this is what I do, first of all you've got dead basic, round the, what we call round the clock, round the world, loads of people call it all sorts of things us in Manchester call it round the board because that's what you're doing, you're going round the board right so normally you'd go one, two, three um, the next stage up you can, you can go all the way round one, one to twenty which is good mix it up, this is a good game because you can mix it up first game you go round on the outside and you use the doubles next game you go round on the inside when you when you become more proficient this is like I'm going to do it in little bits of stages sort of thing so when you first start playing the thing to do if you're going to play around the board with Dynamite Dave go around the outside and you can use the doubles right so basically what you can do is say go this is the way that I like to go double one three double four nine double ten so which was your first double one and this this forces you to practice your double ones and then this is how we finish or this is how I finish on round the board it's two double ones for bullseye so your bullseye is either two outers or one inner when you get more proficient you can play three outers or one inner or a combination of either any so you can have you got basically what you've got to do is you've got to put your three arrows in here that's that that's the more advanced one that we play is you've got to put all three arrows here in one visit you can't miss around the outside at all so you can put three in the red bit if you want three in the green bits but that's how you finish game number two slightly more advanced is we go around the board again but we use these little segments in the middle and we use the trebles for doubles which helps you with your scoring if you think about it so again let's go this time one two three double four so your double is you're actually hitting the treble so you're going for treble four if you go on the outside of it it doesn't count anything around the outside of here on this second game is null and void it doesn't doesn't count so all you're using is the inner circle and the bullseye. So you go around, same thing again. On your, on, on your doubles, so obviously your first double, if it was double four, is you've got to hit two double fours or treble fours as they are in real life. So that's the second game. Same, same finishing again. First time, when you're early on, you can, it's up to you. It, you, can, you can do one, one in the, anywhere in the bull, like they do on soft tip sort of thing. Two anywhere in the bull, or three anywhere in the bull, or you can even, if you want to, start to step it up and say that you've got to, you've got to get one in the in in the middle and at least another one round the outside. That sort of thing. You can you can mix it up and make it more and more difficult as you go along. Right. So that's our round the board on two different versions, and then I have another game that I play, which is called double treble bull. So what we do then is we start off on number one, double in three arrows. If you hit that in three arrows, you go on to treble. If you hit that in three arrows, you get a shot at bullseye. One in any inner or outer, 
and you move on. Now what you can do is you can do it with any of these round the boards, it's up to you. You can do a scoring system. So basically if you go one, two, three in three arrows, you score ten points. If you go four, five, six in ten arrows, you score ten points. If you go one, if you go one, two, three, and then you go double four, that so the double four earns you twenty points. You're, you add them all up at the end of the game between you and whoever you're playing and whoever you're playing could have won you but you could still win on points because you've, you've hit more targets during the game than they have. So it makes it quite a competitive game then because it's a two-edged sword. You can, you can win the round the board a bit like averages. You can have the highest average but it doesn't mean you're going to win the game. So, so back to double treble bull. Again, so like I say, you go double, treble, bull. And then once you've hit bullseye, if you hit the outer, you go on to number two. If you hit an inner, you go straight on to number three. And this, this again, will force you to go to the places on the board where a lot of people don't like playing. Oh, I don't like double three. I don't like double three. Well, I'm, well practice it, because at some point you're going to end up on six. And then you've got a choice, you can either throw a dart away for double two, or you can go straight for, for double three. But it's something where, if you're left on double three and you've got one dart in your hand, what do you do? Do you throw it away? Especially if, you, if your opponent's on a finish, you can't throw it away, can you? You've got to have a go at the double three. And if you're reasonably confident that you can hit it, then you, obviously you might not hit it every time, but you stand a far better chance of hitting it than you do if you never go anywhere near it. And you go, oh, I don't use double three, I don't do this, I don't that, I don't like double one. Who likes double one? No one does, but you can end up on it. So it's worth going everywhere on the board and, and practicing everything that you need to hit during your darting career. So, like I say, we've got double treble ball there. Well, that's how that game works. And what I'll do is I'll I've got some other games. Um, there's a, a chap who's sent me some stuff, fantastic fella from America, called Anthony, I think you'd, you'd pronounce it Purglies. I don't know whether I've got that right. If I've got it wrong, Anthony, send me an email and put a voice clip on it of how you actually pronounce your name because I, I, I've, I've toyed with it for ages and I've, I've tried it in Google and all that sort of stuff and it doesn't come up. So, I mean, I know Dave Flewellyn is probably not the easiest... Um, thing to understand if you actually look at my name it's very very difficult to, to work out how to actually pronounce it and your name's exactly the same but the one thing that I will say to you Anthony is you've I've had some fantastic correspondence with you um, I've had some fantastic input you've sent me those things through the post which was fantastic I was absolutely gobsmacked I never thought somebody would send me something all the way from I mean it's got a Washington stamp on it so I'm assuming it's from somewhere near Washington or and then you've got the part of your address is Florida so I don't know which one it is but your stuff is really really appreciated and there's something very 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 special on its way in the post to you so thanks for watching Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave as I say that was the last one in the series of back to basics where I've given you some practice regimes some things to think about uh, don't forget you can always invent your own games if you invent your own games and you enjoy playing it get on to me tell me all about it so I can have a go at it once I've had a go at it I'll put it up on the channel so as I say thanks for watching Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave and don't forget lads and lasses always 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 totally okay Game shot and match to Dynamite Day!